Hey guys, welcome to FPV Upper JR. So today, we'll be unboxing this mystery box. Okay, I'm just joking. This is actually the Ishin E015 uh, drone type of uh, boat and car 3 in 1 uh, toy. So actually, I'm not sure why the box is actually just like that, that doesn't have any photo or any picture. It's actually just a normal plain box. So as you can see, it's just a normal plain box. So uh, let's unbox it. So here is the item. So we actually check it out. So this is the item here. So this is the drone, and my version is the my version is the one uh one battery version. So you get one battery that is actually attached to a drone already. And so this is the drone. And it's a 65 mm drone as I can show it to you. So my moto to moto is uh, 65 mm here and here. So 65 around 65 mm like that. Yeah. So um, vertical here is as you can see the dimensions. Yeah. So. That's the drone and as for the battery, this is the dimension, let me show it to you. So the battery is, this one is a 220 million 1S 35C battery and also it has a GST 2.0 connector. So here, here's the dimensions roughly, as you can see, here, so the thickness. Yes, so yeah, so and this is the here how you put the battery in is like that. Put it uh, this side facing here, and then you slot it in from here. You can slot it in, and then this one you connect. So now I won't be connecting as I'll be showing you the other item. So this is actually the remote. So the remote is a uh, uh, quite small and very compact size and actually has a lot of features in this compact and small remote so this is actually the up and down which allows you to go uh, the drone up and down and also the different function for the boat and uh, the car uh, hovercraft type function is the left and right to roll left and right so you go left and right then forward and back so you go forward and back and this left and right it will actually turn the drone when it's in the air it will this is how it works in the air but as for the uh, boat and the car type of hovercraft that function will be diff totally different which I'll show you later how it works so this is the remote and this is what you get under the remote which is actually uh, two spare propeller uh, one clockwise and one one clockwise and one counterclockwise so and one screwdriver and a USB charger so yeah so let's put it here and let's check out the very cool item which is the item that makes this drone uh, 3 in 1 so it's actually very amazing so this is the uh, hovercraft thing and this board is actually uh, something like a surf surfing board uh, styrofoam material uh, very thick foam it's actually very good material so yeah so these clips here as you can see here let me get it in focus yeah so these clips here is actually to remove this casing which when you put this onto this and clip it down it becomes a boat so this material actually floats on the water so when you remove this clip you just push out push out and then this side you push out also you can see so you do it on all four sides and then the uh, hovercraft this plastic thing will actually come out this is very very light so it allows it to actually glide on the smooth surface it's best to play on a smooth surface so it allows uh, it to go in uh, full speed so to actually attach the drone onto it is very easy it's 
very very easy so basically this you just this side right you face it uh, downwards and then here and then you can see here there's actually the clips here so you, then also here there's these two holes so basically those clips you actually just fit it in which is basically you put this uh, one side into here once this side go in then you turn it around and then you put uh, pull out a bit don't pull it out too much that it might break so just be careful just pull it out such that it will fit into it so once it's fit it's actually a uh, hovercraft so it's a very cool uh, very cool design of Ishin to make this out it's actually a new product so yeah so to remove it's also the same thing just pull out and you slide it out it's easy so let's uh, connect the controller and power on so you don't the battery for the controller is not actually included so uh, you have to get your own battery which is the triple a battery uh, this one triple a battery so i'm using this from energizer you can get from almost any shop hardware store or any shop that sells battery so to remove this they actually included the screw which uh, the screwdriver so i'll just use the included screwdriver get the included screwdriver is a plus sign screwdriver so you take the screwdriver and unscrew it so once it's unscrew you just put the screwdriver aside and this clip you must push it downwards then after that you pull it out so you actually open up and be careful this screw as it will actually come out so you just make sure it doesn't uh, uh, loss doesn't be lost but no worries if you actually lost it because this uh, uh, springy type of plastic thing it actually locks in place without the screw so yeah so it actually won't drop lah so you just remove it pull then you keep it aside then you add your battery so you just follow the positive and negative so the tap as you can see just put it in then you take the cover, cover it back, and then screw it in. So get the screwdriver, the included screwdriver is actually very good. It's actually very nice of them to actually include this screwdriver. It's actually uh, very good for beginner as the beginner might is you don't need to get extra item and all that. So yeah, let's screw it in tight such that it won't come out lah hand tight will do lah but yeah so once it's screwed in it will not come out so as you can see when I uh, try to open the tab it's actually very secure already so you don't need to worry that the case will drop out or anything even without the screw it will also stay in place so to on the transmitter you can see this off on so you push the right it will on so now the drone is not plugged in so it will not actually uh, bind to a drone so as you can see this the drone so you plug in to plug in just follow this make sure that it's the correct side and don't force it in as you might break the connector on the board and that's total disaster so just follow this step here then after that you plug it in and you see the light blinking this shows that this blinking flashing light shows that it's not bound so the it has not been uh, bind, binded to the transmitter so to bind on the transmitter you just on it put this aside you on it go down up down then it's bound uh, bind ready so actually i'll show you the flight footage in a second so yeah so i'll charge the battery as it's not charged uh, from the factory it's actually stopped in the storage voltage which is at 3.8 volts so we will charge it with the included usb charger so this is the included usb charger so we will open up then get the usb charger so this is actually the head so you plug in this side as you can see you follow here then you plug it in yeah so 
beside we're going to a USB uh, port which maybe your USB charger wall charger so you plug it in then you uh, charge it uh, plug this side in yeah and the good thing is also you can use power bank to charge as this uses USB so you just get any USB outlet that will supply the USB power 5 volt you just plug it in you see it shows red so red means that uh, wait let me plug this in for a moment and I'll show it to you so you plug it in and then it will actually charge so as you can see it's charging right now so when it's charging it uh, doesn't show any color here and when it's fully charged it will actually show a red light so we will let it charge So once it's charged, it will show the red light. But if you plug it where in where it's not connected, it will also show the red light. So when you, when the uh, uh battery is not charged, you plug in, it will charge, and then when it's fully charged, it will show the red light, uh red LED light. So yeah, we'll keep it charging, and we'll get back to you in a few uh, seconds later. <laughs> Okay, so the battery is fully charged. So now we will plug it into the drone. So this is the drone, and then as I just now uh, showed you, put the battery in, and then you connect. As you can see, yeah. So then you have to do the binding procedure again by on, down, up, down, and then you are uh, bound. It is bound ready, so you can actually fly it. So to actually start. In the remote here, you actually click this button here, which I'll show you here. So the bottom here, and the the bottommost left bottom button uh, up one. So you click this button here, and then you actually take off. So to control, is this actually a attitude hole uh, remote? So when you release the uh, throttle side, you actually stay on uh, height, but it's not exactly accurate so yeah so to actually lower you have to lower down and you actually drop uh, this leveling height so to uh, increase the height you just go upwards and you actually uh, yeah so this actually the up and down basically when you release you actually stay into stay its position uh, not position by its height so you have to this is the forward so you go forward and this is the back and this the left and right yeah so you can actually fly around and yeah so you can fly around here you fly in circles and all that then to increase the speed you can actually click uh wait let me test a moment so yeah, so to increase the uh, speed and then just click the top button. So one beat means the lower speed, the two beats means the faster speed, uh, faster speed, and the three beats is the fastest. So it actually has uh, three uh, speed. So it actually has three speed. So one beat, uh, one beat is the first speed, and two beat is the sec uh, second speed, which is the second fastest and three bits is the fastest so it actually becomes more agile and you will fly faster so and there's also so basically to take off you just click this again and then you will take off to a certain height which is around one meter up and then you can control it after that so to land you click the uh, let me show in the frame so to land you just click the same button that you click to take off and it will actually land as you can see okay so I'll click the button that I just now click to take off and it will land so when it lands it actually uh, stop stop the motors and all that so as you can see so basically when you click the uh, take off button it will take off and when you click the land button, uh, not land, but the same button that we click as for takeoff, it also acts as a land button. 
So when you click that again, it will land. So it's actually a very nice feature. La. So uh, we'll take off again, click this. And then to land, in, and there's another method in landing is to uh, push the throttle down all the way. And then you hold there all the way for a few seconds and you can see the motor will actually off by itself. Yeah, so that's the second method. So the first method is to click the takeoff and land button. And the third method is to actually uh, throttle down all the way for a few seconds. Then it will disarm the motor when it's when it actually touched the ground after a few seconds. And there's another function is the flip button. So when you click this top right, you click and you just move. A, it will actually flip by itself. Let me show it to you again. So I click the top right button and I push a uh, direction and you actually flip to that direction. So yeah, you actually uh, increase the height and then after that you will flip back to its original height. As you can see here. So direction and choose your direction and you actually flip to that direction which is very cool. So yeah, so let's land it and push all the way down. Then after it will stop the motor. So with it plugged in and uh, calibrated onto the ground, we can now uh, fit this into the uh, hovercraft type of mount, which I was sh uh, I've shown you how it actually fits, right? So uh, we will get back once I fit it in. So once you have fitted in, it will work as a hovercraft now. It actually has a very cool. Uh, feature which is I think in the firmware of this board when you uh, put it like this and then it doesn't actually uh, move up and down for here already so this up and down will not work so you actually have to calibrate on the ground first like a drone then after that you uh, put it in this position without turning off you put it into this position then after that this left and right will not work because only the drone uh, when it's on the when it's flying and works as a drone, then this but uh, left and right here will work, and this up and down here will work. But now, when you put it like this, it can it has its firmware inside that tells it that it's a hovercraft. Uh, it works as a hovercraft now, so uh, only the left and right here will not work, and only this up, and then the back also will not work because uh, it doesn't reverse the motor that makes it actually go backwards so then this the left and then you can see actually go to the right and then you move the sticks to the left it goes to the left so then you push it front it goes to forward then you put you coordinate it together you actually uh go to the direction you want so it's actually very very cool i'll show it to you in a second so as you can see so it's actually very fun so it's uh, very uh, good for uh, beginners and children starting out as this way. It's actually very fast though. So how it works is actually the drone would spin uh, the propellers and then it will blow wind out from the back and then it will by the wind it uh, will blow the thing forward and left and right. And it's very smooth is because you have to use a smooth surface. So this is actually a very smooth surface so it actually glides uh, nicely. So as you can see the light LED on the drone is blinking this shows that it is low battery now so if you see the LED is blinking you can play for maybe a 10 to 15 seconds more and it will actually stop uh, stop uh, the motor will actually stop because it doesn't want to over discharge the battery which uh, can be quite dangerous so I will show it to you like uh, after it will stop
so as you can see now it have actually stopped so this actually is a feature that is built into this board that tells it to stop at a certain voltage which doesn't allow it to over discharge the battery which can be dangerous so it's a very good feature so yeah so as you can see by is by it blinking so this shows that it's low battery so now this actually uh so now we actually test the boat feature so yeah let's take this out yeah so we will go into the boat uh the water area and then i'll test it out and show it to you so let's head over Oh yes, by the way, uh, charging time with the USB, it takes around 45 minutes. So that's just to let you know, uh, 45 minutes to full charge. Play time is around 6 minutes, depending, uh, may, not really 6 minutes, but 5 minutes. Yeah, depending on what feature you use, like maybe a drone, that one will be lesser run time and then, yeah, so it depends. So... 45 minutes to charge and 5 minutes approximately 4 to 5 minutes for play time yeah oh yes and I also want to include that my version did not come with uh, any instruction manual I, I have checked the bottom part of this box there is nothing so I believe that I'm getting the production version that's why it came in with this box and also uh, no instruction manual yeah so uh, I'll go to the water side and then I'll show how the boat function works so let's head over okay so uh, to get the hovercraft uh, boat working you just get this you as you can see here there's a lock and so you put this thing and you lock it in like how uh, it will work so once it's locked it will not come out then now you have to place the drone into this side so you get the drone you put it on the ground first plug it in so you plug it in as you can see just plug it in so you plug it in you place it on the ground just like that then you take your remote you on it then you put down up down and you see the LED stops blinking this shows that it's bound so uh, now to get the boat thing set up we'll just uh, put it in so this is how it works so now we'll get the drone and then see when it's just basically the so basically it's the same as the car function basically just that this is in water so yeah As you can see the LED is blinking right now so it's basically um, battery is gonna finish soon so because it's not fully charged so it's actually uh, the runtime is not that long but yeah it's actually very fun though so yeah let's continue on let's continue until the battery dies so.
So if you get stuck, you just have to wait for the water to turn you out of the thing because it doesn't reverse. So yeah. So now it doesn't move because the battery is uh, low but the battery is not dead yet so you can just recharge it as long as because this good is that it has the function of the low voltage cut off as I just just now just said so yeah so this is the boat function and it works very well perfect just that don't don't submerge the, the top part of it in water make sure that this doesn't get water at the bottom part is okay because the drone is actually not waterproof I guess yeah I do not want to try it also because I don't want to ruin this this toy lah. it's actually very fun <laughs> yeah so just drain off the water and wait for it to dry so to off it just pluck it out then after that you can remove it from the clip so yeah so just remove it from the clip then you can put this down then you can off it yeah so that's how it works and so this is the review of the uh, Ishin E015 uh, 3-in-1 drone plus uh, car and boat type of uh, toy so it's amazing so feel free to ask any question in the comment below and remember to subscribe yeah okay thanks so thanks for watching and have a great day bye